and screaming. I get really excited when I film videos, so I just yell at you. Out of love. I'm yelling out of love. Today I'm doing my May favorites video for you guys, and I'm really excited because May was a really good month, and June is going to be an awesome month. Without further ado, I have a ton of super fun stuff to show you, so let's get on into this. Oh! I put my favorites in a box. Out of the box. Out of the box. Who else loved that show, but it also gave me unrealistic expectations of what my forts would look like. My first favorite is something that was so very well loved this month that I'm almost completely out of it, and that is my Batiste dry shampoo. No matter what, it still feels like you use dry shampoo. It feels cleaner, but you can tell there's dry shampoo in it. No, no, no. I was living a lie, and now I'm no longer living a lie because this baby enlightened me to what an amazing dry shampoo is. It just automatically feels like I just blow dried my hair and got out of the shower. It's amazing. I'm obsessed the Pantene Weekly Deep Cleanse Purifying Shampoo. And oh my gosh, I love you so much. Oh, I put so much product in my hair. And just in general, like the oil can build up and you're shampooing, but it's not really detoxifying and really deep cleaning. This deep cleans your hair like absolute crazy. I think I have found my all time favorite mascara of the entire universe of mascaras. Okay, now that I say that, I'm sure another one will come along and I'll like it more. I'm so obsessed, like so obsessed. This is the Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara. This this gives me false lashes. I'm not kidding. It's like there must be little falsies hidden in here. Something, something about this gives that really big doe-eyed wispy look. If you've been stalking Kylie Jenner's Instagram pictures, which I know we all have, first of all, those lips. But then those eyelashes. This makes me feel like I have Kylie Jenner eyelashes. My favorite lip combo of the month I'm actually wearing right now, and that is starting off with Max Deverish, Deverish Lip Pencil, and then the Buxom Lip Pencil in Sydney. I just line my lips with this, fill it in, and then right in the center use this and it makes my lips look a whole lot fuller and I just love the darker matte nude look and to mattify this I literally just take a translucent powder dab it on my finger and then dab it on my lips so I don't have to buy the matte version of this those lips dough I've been loving glowy skin especially that it's starting to get warmer out so I've gone back to one of my holy grail products which is the hourglass ambient lighting powder and this is in luminous light it's super subtle so I feel like I could just put it on and I look really healthy and natural and glow but it doesn't look like, oh, what's that stripe of glitter on your cheekbone? And you're like, what are you talking about? I thought this looked natural. And my last makeup favorite is also from Hourglass, and that is the blush that I'm wearing right now. I love this. My friend Este here on YouTube, Essie Button, as you guys probably know, I talk about her in like every video. She's my obsession. She actually sent me this, and this is the Dim Infusion Blush. And it's like a cool, it's a cool, it's a cool. What the hell, Megan, are you trying to say? It's like a nudish peachy color it's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now and I just think it's so flattering and so incredibly beautiful and it just looks so seamless I love I love I love I love in my last haul video I picked up a new perfume for the springtime and it has made its way into my favorites because it is amazing it's the Chloe Roses perfume and I'm obsessed 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 with this it just smells like a perfect mix between a perfume and roses it doesn't smell like I'm a walking rose bush which would be fitting for Megan Rosette but hey I feel like that's a little bit overkill everyone's been telling me that I smell good plus look how cute and classy that is my two fashion favorites of the month and the first one is this sweater ah, this is a absolutely giant gray to ombre black sweater I'm not kidding you guys it is so comfortable it's actually from like Nordstrom sleepwear section so it's like a something you're just supposed to wear around the house but I'll be honest I wear this out all of the time it's like a socially acceptable version to wear a snuggie outside it's changed my life and my other fashion favorite is something that I had been coveting for so long and I finally made this splurge and I bought it and it's my new little Chloe bag. I love this. I think it's the cutest thing ever and it's perfect for summertime because it's so small. I just think it looks so special and so cool and the details of it, it's just me in a purse. And she's just like my little nugget and I love her. Moving on to the random stuff, which I know we all like more. My favorite tea of the month is Mint Verbana by Caribou Coffee and you guys know, homegirl loves Caribou Coffee. And so I recently started drinking this herbal tea. Herbal tea, it's a strange thing for me if you know me. A new favorite also for the month of May was I started sleeping, which has been really cool. To be honest, probably for the last three years, I was averaging between two to four hours of sleep a night. Now I'm sleeping like seven to eight hours. I started drinking a lot more herbal tea because I don't need caffeine throughout the day and I don't want to get all hyped up on jittery. So this mint tea is just so delicious and yummy and good and and my favorite mug of the month I had to throw in, it is this little Eloise mug. Is this not the cutest thing in the entire 
entire world. I was in New York this past month with Lauren and we went to the Plaza Hotel for tea. Someone brought us there for a meeting and it was the most amazing thing in the entire world. They had a whole little Eloise gift shop and Lauren and I were on cloud nine. It was just amazing. I am Eloise. My favorite food of the month has actually been three of the recipes that I featured in my healthy breakfast video ideas. In that video, I made an acai bowl, I made some chai spiced quinoa, and I also made a scramble stuffed sweet potato, and I've just been eating them like crazy this past month. They're so good and super yummy and fun and healthy, so if you guys are looking for some healthy alternatives for breakfast and you're in need of some food inspiration, make sure to check out that video. <laughs> I am so easily entertained. So the month of May was absolutely amazing to me music wise. Not only do I have probably my favorite playlist I've ever made, which was my May I playlist on Spotify, which I'll link down below, but I was actually lucky enough to see so many of my favorite musical artists perform live this past month. I saw the American authors at front row at the Yahoo New Friends, which was amazing. I then was invited to go to the Fault in Our Stars musical live stream with performances from Ed Sheeran, Group Love, and Charlie XCX, which was awesome and proof that Ed Sheeran smiled at me. And then I was invited to go to iHeartRadio's live stream for Coldplay's new album, which was insane. It's just been an amazing musical month. The music that's coming out recently. Oh, so good! My favorite movie of the month is hands down The Other Woman. Tears streaming down my face. I don't know why, but that movie spoke to me. Cameron Diaz was amazing in it. Leslie Mann was amazing in it. And I mean, I'm sorry. Really? Kate Upton? Can Flawless. 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 I'm done. I'm done. For TV this month, I have been binge watching Desperate Housewives from the very beginning. I used to watch Desperate Housewives when I was like in middle school, which in hindsight probably was way too young to be watching it. But I decided I'm going to watch Desperate Housewives from beginning to end. I'm in the middle of season one right now and I just love it. It's such a great show and Mike is so hot. We also need a moment. The revenge finale. Oh my gosh. It was one of those things where I cried and hyperventilated like six times. And a moment of silence for the fact that they canceled Crisis. Moment over. I'm trying to move on. So I don't have a favorite YouTuber of the month, but I do have a favorite YouTube series of the month. And it's Lauren and Megan's Guide to Dating on Awesomeness TV. It's basically Lauren and I, our friendship together, and us trying to meet guys and pick up guys in LA. I personally had so much fun filming it. Now the month of May was me reading a lot of chick lit novels that, to be honest, are A, not appropriate to recommend to a wide audience, and B, not appropriate to recommend to a wide audience. And no, I did not read Fifty Shades of Grey. I've already read the whole series. It's really overhyped, to be honest. This month, I'm starting to listen to Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell on audible.com. So if you guys haven't checked out Audible, is this your first time on the internet? Have you never watched a YouTube video favorites before? Come on. Audible is an audiobook website. It's what I love to do and listen to books that way. So if you want to check out Audible, make sure you use the code audible.com slash Megan for a 30 day free trial. And you can actually get a book through that. And I'm going to be spending a lot of time on play in the month of June, so you know I'm about to read that real quick. But yeah! Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the down bar because I'm going to type out everything that I talked about in this video. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I'm going to be doing something really cool the first week of June and I want to share it with you guys via pictures and tweets because I may or may not have booked a lead in a new web series that's shooting. Just keep burping because that's not cute at all. Literally sweating. What was I saying? I love you guys. Oodles and oodles. And I will see you next time. Bye. Ah. Ugh. Give up. Do you hear me? I give up. It is too hot. Yes. I'm an ice dancer. Bye. 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 Today I'm doing another empties video for you all and I have so many empty products I've been putting off filming this video for so long.